Kevin Painter. Ted Hankey, the Count, a quarter-finalist in 1998, could he reach his first ever semi-final? And his opponent, the Ipswich Town fan, Hankey's a Stoke City supporter, who's never got beyond the last 16, so this is the best performance that Painter's ever put up in the World Championship. Well, we're going to join it in the fourth set. Hankey is leading 2-1, and it's the third leg as we join John Part and Tony Green. Third leg, set to throw first. Game on. Eighty. One hundred. In fact, Ted's had a few darts drop out of the board. Sixty. I wonder if those are night vision goggles for the count. Fifty-eight. <laughs> well, I must say, there's a lot at stake for him, John. One hundred. Both professional players. One hundred. One hundred and forty. Forty-five. Well, said you require one hundred and twenty-one. Doesn't need to take it out, but uh, can still get it down to a double with another treble here. Twenty-two. Well, ninety-nine left. Very awkward. Kevin at one ninety-eight, no finish, but uh, might want to exploit that mistake from Ted. That's because uh, ninety-nine, it's still three darts to finish. Yes, at best, one dart for double. Well, 79 for Kevin. Let me go for uh, treble 19. 138. Oh, my mistake. Ted, you require <laughs> 99. It was Ted might go for it, but 74. 59. Kevin, you require 60. For a break, 20. Double top. Double ten. Game show to the third leg. Kevin Painter. Fourth leg. Kevin to throw first. Game on. Well, Kevin's put himself in a great position to try and level the match. Has the throw here. Up two one in the set. Ninety six. One hundred. One hundred and twenty-five. Well, Kevin setting a good pace. Ted looking to follow. Fifty-nine. One hundred and forty. Well, that's half of his two eighty. One hundred and forty. Kevin, you require one hundred and forty. Two treble twenties. Stay there. Treble. He wants that treble twenty now to leave the double top. Sixty. A little disappointed, but uh, he'll be back. Another treble 20. 122 left. 100. So he's pressured, Kevin. Kevin, you require 80. For two two in sets. 80 left. Treble 20. Another 20. Double top. Yes, there we go. 
A dance around the stage for Kevin Painter. Pressure dart. So everything to play for at the break when Painter could so easily have been 3-1 behind. As it was, two apiece, and he took the first leg of the fifth as they resumed after the break. Second leg, take two. Ropers. Game on. Well, it wasn't pretty, but Kevin held his throw. 140! It's only three seeds left, John. Ted's number five. It's Ronnie Baxter, number two. And the number three seed, uh, Merv King. 55! I think uh, Bobby George really should have had uh, that double top to uh, remove the number two seed last night. Exciting fight in Monta. 85! Well, it was a controversial last set, for sure. Some people questioning Bobby's shot selections. But uh, Ronnie Baxter, the number two 100. seed, he came through, did the job. And that's what the experience is about like he was a finalist last year and uh, that's what it's about being a seed 59 100 a lot of work to do for Kevin Forty-five. Taking recoil, one hundred and one. Start with the twenties. Trouble nineteen. Oh, it's a trouble three. So that'll be seventy-two left. Uh, a couple of options. Could be twenties. Could be twelves. Most likely the twelves. Well. Eighty-nine. He's left double six. With Kevin at two fifty-seven. And he likes them side shots. He's been hitting double eleven as well. One hundred. Take you require 12. So double six. 33. Six score. Kevin, you require 157. Well, this would be something. We've seen some finishing so far. It all starts with the treble 20. That yeah, was very close, but uh not much uh, difference in the look, is it? That's Paul, his brother. 80. Can you require six? Could go for the two double two. He's gone straight at it. One for double one. No score. Well, never expected a chance in this leg, Kevin. 77. But a great one now. The treble 19 would leave double 10. Usual way to play this. Nine, so 68. Pretty much has to go for treble 18 or single. Yeah, I'm leaving the bull. Yes, now the bullseye for the steal. Thirty. Still, the six is awkward. Take you require six. Yes, that's, that's much eight. better. Ten hundred. Third leg, Kevin to Ropers. Game on. Ninety-five. I do like that shot right down the hockey of the player. It gives you an idea of the uh, auditorium here at the lake side. Friendly, incidentally. One hundred and eighty. Well, now they're getting the scoring going. A couple of lackluster legs to start the set. 140! A good adjustment. 100! I was saying double there, John. 59. <laughs> Could 
be another in the leg. 140. And this against the throw. Kevin in trouble. One hundred and forty. Chance of eleven dots out shot. Take you require eighty-one. He goes for the treble nineteen. Twelve to lead bull. Bullseye for twelve. Fifty-six. And that would have been a break. So uh, a bit Kevin lucky now. Require sixty-seven. Fortunate to get this chance to hold his throw. Trouble seventeen. Should be ten to leave double top. Double top. 47. Take you require 25. Double 12. Well, unusual. He's hit the nine. Kevin, you require 20. Double 10. Yes, that's the third leg. Kevin Painter. And that's up for Kevin. Fourth leg, take two, throw first. Game on. And a leg that uh, Ted really ought to take advantage. 54. Here's Raymond Barnevelt, still the champion for another few days. 45. Yes, it's nice to uh, have his presence as well, John. Speaking to his wife, Sylvia, and he said he's disappointed for two days. 60. And he said the same thing happened to Eric Bristow, and then he won the title three years and running. 95. One hundred and forty. No one's ever really taken charge of this, this match, have they? No, they haven't, and uh, it's been like a yo-yo action. Uh, no real streaks to speak of. Of legs, one, which normally you do see in a, in a longer match like this. You see one player go on and win four or five straight. Uh, it really has been just back and forth and it's not even necessarily with the advantage of throw 60 100 140. So some pressure now. Teddy require Keep this in alive. 68. So the ball. Yes, that's the fourth leg. Ted Hankey. Right in the middle. Fifth leg, Kevin to Rofus. Game on. And certainly the bullseye finish builds your confidence when you're standing on 41. up there at the hockey. Spectators love it as well. Love, strange, isn't it? When they love them bull finishes. 100. <laughs> and as I say, his confidence is up. It backs me up. <laughs> 95. Already made the break. It's a lot of work for Kevin. 125 behind. It's a 140 just to keep pace. 100. An important three for Ted. Needs at least one treble to get to a three dart out. There it is. Should do well. 140. Very closely grouped. Seventy-seven. Take you require one hundred. Which is a treble twenty. And a double top for the fifth. Double ten. 
No Anything. worries. You'll be back. Kevin Painter, 188. Nothing he can do. Surprising how many times the uh, wires are hit. I'm going for the doubles, you know, pushing them in or out. Well, well, yeah, it's worth noting that with the improvement of the dartboard over the years, a lot of those ones that hit the wire and move it would have actually bounced off the round wire instead of uh, getting by. And it really does improve the scoring overall. 41. The, uh, the new quality boards Taking we have today. At 20. It's Ted's parents urging this double 10. Yes, yes there it is. Set to fifth set. Ted Hankey. Six set, first leg, take two, throw first. Game on. So Ted, breaking the throw of Kevin in the fifth set to take a three sets to two lead. 96. And with the advantage of throw here. Just to remind our viewers, it is in actual fact best of nine sets. 100. First player to reach five. Thank you at three. One hundred and eighty! One hundred and eighty! Well, that's four for Kevin and eight for Ted. Look at that. Look at the crowd. One hundred. Can you require forty-five? Probably five and double top. Well, it's double fifteen because he hit the treble five. So, in this leg, full of one eighty. A chance for Kevin. One twenty-one needs the twenties first. Trouble 17. Bullseye for 12. Ooh, 81. What a win that would have been. Ted, you require 30. So double 15. Yes, first start. Yes, that's the first leg. Ted Hanky. Second leg came into Roper. Game on. A 13 dart leg for the count. Incidentally, if, uh, if you're wondering why Martin Fitzmorris is on the stage and not Georgie Noble, when the match started, we did have a break after four sets. Martin really getting his tonsils going. 97. There we see some of the finishing. The 12 darter for Ted, two 13 darters, one 14, three 15s, six plus. Wow. 180 for Kevin Painter. So oh, Scott Wollaston there as well, John. I just found out last night he gets about five thousand dollars for wrestling crocodiles. I think it's alligators. <laughs> no, he gets seven thousand for that. Sixty. Well, I think that Scott probably thought he was wrestling a bit of an alligator in Ronnie Baxter in the first round. Kevin, you require 121. <laughs> and he got bit. <laughs> Just looking to leave the double. Ted with no finish. 89. One hundred and forty. Kevin, you require thirty-two. So double sixteen. Yes, that's the second leg. Kevin Panker. Third leg, take two, row first. Game on. A good adjustment. Eighty-five. One hundred and forty. One hundred and forty. Well, the 
this match been going for about an hour now and still some excellent accuracy. 100! High scoring. Neither tiring are the jump. Urging each other on. When you see the 140 ahead of you, it gives you no choice but to respond. One hundred and forty. So two treble twenties. Leap double eight. Six. He's gone for sixteen. So one twenty left. Now a single twenty to leave double top. Ninety six. But uh, Kevin, one two one. Kevin, you require one hundred and twenty one. Well, that's costly. He knows it. A little strange on Ted's shot, however. Sixteens with Kevin on such a good out. He does that, John. It's everywhere he can, he'll try to leave double top. It's almost playing to go for the next turn, and uh, Kevin at 1-2-1, one, one. he knew it was a good chance. Can you require 40? But it's paid off, double top. Double 10. 30. Well, a break Can opportunity. Can you require 40? This for a 13 darter. Yes, that's the third leg. Can we find that? Given the opportunity and take it. Fourth leg, came into Rover. Came on. I think Kevin put himself a bit off balance there for a second. Just had to step back. Get a stance solid. 100. And the thing is about Kevin, uh, Kevin in the championships, he's never been past five 100. sets. 100. Never been to a nine setter. Well, that's true. But uh, very fit, Kevin Painter, and uh, should be able to handle it. 60. It's surprising now what. Uh, what you do take out yourself and your strength of your legs. 140! <laughs> Surprising how many miles you walk uh, during the championship and up and down that hockey. Taking the advantage away from Kevin. So things were looking rosy, but uh, they're slipping away from him. 45. Especially after that score. Can you require 161? He's blocked himself off a little, just stepping to the left to get around. Well done. But now what? 81, treble 19. 99. Now well, Kevin looking to get at least a 140. 42. Ted, you require 62. Another 15. Oh, he's gone for seven, double top. 42. Well, supports a light double top, but he's not getting there, John, is he? That's his favourite out shot. Well, it's best to stick with what you like and keep going, and eventually they'll start falling back in again. 80. Take you require 20. So double 10. Yes, that's a full play. 10 anchors. And now he has the Ted advantage. Leg. Take to run first. Game on. A leg in which he can make himself move ahead four to two in sets if he takes 100. it. 100. 100. Yes, Kevin must dig deep. If he loses this leg, he would have to win three straight sets. I'm talking about fitness. Uh... One. Maximum, let them settle down a bit. 
Talking about fitness, Kevin uh, played a lot of football in his youth. 100. Senior level, took an injury, and took to dart. Big follower of Ipswich Town. And they're doing quite well. 100. Trouble now for Taking Kevin Painter. 121. Yes. Double 18 for the set. 85. To the fans. No finish for Kevin. So. 60. Ten, you require 36. For a commanding lead in this. Match double eighteen. It's moved to Iron. Yes, that's a six set. Ted Hankey. So Kevin really up against it now. Let's move things along to the seventh set. And Hankey is leading two one on the fringe of victory. Game on. Kevin. But now's the real nitty gritty. Ted with the advantage of throw. 140! What an excellent start. 100! Mm, not relenting one bit. One and that is his 11th. Unless you think it's the end, 140, 180. That comes Kev. 85. And this is the form. This is the Ted Hankey we know from past years. And there's no Hankey Panky on this match, has he? 59. One hundred and forty. So we'll see how Taking it goes for it. Would normally go 18s, but Kevin not on a finish. Yes, yeah, so a treble 18 would lead Bull. Yes, to win the match, Bull. 82. Well, I'm a little surprised he went that way if he wasn't going to go for it, Tony. Well, <laughs> <laughs> went for the 10 to leave that double top. It's been good to him <laughs> the last two legs. 100. Take you but here it is now. 40. His favorite double top for the match. Double ten. And here it is. Oh, a chance for Kevin Bader to stay alive. And this really could turn things Kevin around. Require 76. So treble 20. Oh, 73. Needs a treble. Treble 19 leaves double eight. Oh, what a slip, Kevin. We'll wait. But trouble 19. That would be the shot for double eight. So can't finish 14. 36. It's all on Anki John. Can you require 10? And it's a double five. Now needs the one. Double two. Eight score. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Oh dear. Can you require 14? Must summon everything. Double top. Double ten. Thirty. Really? Ted Hanky likes double top. Ted, you require two. But he needs the neighbor. Double one. No score. Just as exciting as the one enters and I don't trust this. Can require 10? Six goals. But it, by no means is there any guarantee on this double one. They call it Ten the madhouse. require two. It's a madhouse he needs for the match. 
double one. Putting away that double one to hand an impressive match. Five sets to two. Kevin Painter came out gunning, but in the end, the count moves on to the semifinals. And Mom and Dad are loving it. Well, ladies and gentlemen. So it's your first ever semifinal. Mm. Quite happy. Uh, Kevin gave me a lot of chances. A lot of chances. I've never seen Kevin miss so many doubles. But um, he played well. And once I started going, I was playing well myself. And I just took the chances when they were there to take. Are you kicking yourself a bit? Yeah, you know, I'm sick as a dog. Because uh, you played people like Ted. And he, he, he gave me loads of chances. And uh, I mean, uh, it wasn't as if I was like missing by you know, a bus ride. I was clipping the wires all the time. And how many sets did I lose free to? I'm just, I'm just sick. Because... Uh, he, I'll never get a better chance than that. I don't think Ted was on top of his game until the last three sets. I could have. I feel when I was two one down, I could have been three 0 up. I'm just sick as a dog. Yeah. That final leg as well. It was. It seemed like everybody was trying their best not to win. I mean, did the nerves get to you at the I end? I was under a lot of pressure to win the winning double because he was. He was still playing well. Like I say, he was missing his doubles. Yeah. But once I missed it, I thought, well, it looks like we're going to go all the way here. You know. And then Kevin kept missing. I thought. How many chances is he going to give me? And he missed again. So I've never seen Kevin miss that many doubles. I do feel for him. But I'm happy to be there. But like sure. I say, I've never seen him miss that many doubles. That very last leg, did you, as he kept giving you chances as well, did you think, if I can just win this, I might get the momentum going? Yeah, but I've done the same in the, the set before. I took the leg off him with a, I think it was a 1-1-7 out, yeah. uh, to go 2-1 up, and then just didn't perform at all in the next leg. Which, you know, to me, it's ridiculous, really. I mean, you get yourself set up quite nicely, breaking someone's throat, and then can't play properly in your own and hold it. Yeah. Um, but the last one there, I mean, Ted was pulling them all over the place. You could see he's nearly falling over the hockey. And I was clipping wires. And I'm, I'm just gutted. It never went in. I mean, yeah. I clipped the wire tops twice and tens. What can you do? If it don't go in, you don't go in. You know what I mean? Well, uh, I thought the fifth and sixth set was the buzzing set. That's when the game sort of changed for Ted's point of view. You played the equal darts. I know what you said, you thought you should have won the first two sets, but I thought it was very equal till you got to five or six sets. And then you was doing 12 or 13 darts. I mean, that's, that's brilliant darts. I mean, leg after leg after leg. And when you miss, he, you know, he was started, he hit his form right at that right time. At the, if he'd done that at the beginning of the game, and he was too old, it would have changed, probably changed around, but he'd done it when it counted. He hit them doubles at the time you wanted to hit them. Yeah. And you hit the ton 80s when you wanted. Yeah. Because every time I was hitting the ton 80s, he was bashing the ton 80 back. What a 140. He was playing super, but I said, well, Kevin did wrong tonight. He was missed doubles. Well, the, you, yeah, you know, the, the average is uh, but almost the is identical. Ted, the thing is, Ted, you won. And in the end, that's yeah. what matters, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I've, I say, I'm over the moon to have won. I really am. But, you know, semi finals another day, and we've got to start waking up for that again now. Well, congratulations. Thanks Good luck, Kevin. Next time. Cheers, Cheers Carl. Cheers, mate.